What is the best engine? The Dota had just killed Unity and Unreal. Well, after Unity couldn't get killed. In this video, after following these steps, you will know what is the best engine for you and why you should probably use Godot. We will talk about each engine in detail so you can choose the best engine that suits your need without spending days watching videos about this topic. So let's get started. First thing is PC requirements. We will see the minimum and recommended requirements for each engine. From this step, you can cancel any engine that you can't use in the first place. I will give points to each engine to decide a winner just for fun. But before that, when I mention a GPU or CPU, you can see its equivalent. I won't mention them as this video will take hours. And by the way guys, I'm recording in the middle of the desert just for you. So please, like, subscribe. Let's begin with Unreal Engine. For the minimum requirements, it will need a GPU GTX 1066 gigs and a CPU i5 9th generation and finally RAMs 16 gigs of RAM. For the recommended requirements, you will need RTX 2080 Super, CPU with 6 cores, 3 gigahertz or more, and 64 gigabyte RAMs, and at least 38 gigabytes to install the engine. I kinda understand why you need these requirements because you need edges to start the engine. Next Next will be Godot engine. The minimum requirements are CPU with 2 cores, 2 GB RAM, and GTX 460. For the recommended, CPU with 4 cores, 4 GB RAM, and GTX 460. It needs 150 MB, not Giga, to install, and you can start launching it instantly. We will see Unity, but it seems that the point is going to Godot. For Unity, the minimum is CPU, i5, second generation, GPU, GTX 650, and 8 GB of RAM. Recommended requirements is a CPU with 8 cores, GPU, RTX 3060, and 32GB RAM, and 40GB to install. As we guessed it, this point goes to Godot as it's the easiest engine to run, but it's about you. If you don't have the requirements to a specific engine like Unreal 5, then it's down to Unity and Godot. That's why you have to think about what you have, not who wins in this video. Next criteria will be coding. It's very important because it's the way to build our logic of our game. You also may already have the skill or interest in a specific way of code and this will give you an idea of how hard it is to learn the engine. Unreal Engine operates with C++ which is known as the hardest coding language between game engines. However, it has visual scripting language which is blueprint. It's user friendly and yes, you can make full game without touching C++. Like two stars who made Choo Choo Charlies and had successful journey. The entire game. I've never okay. used C++ in my life. Enough. Godot and Unity both operate with C Sharp but to be easier, Unity has visual scripting and Godot has Godot script which is similar to Python. I don't know a thing about visual scripting in unity so tell me down in the comments if it's reliable or not in terms of coding this point also goes to godot because it's easier to but for me who does not like coding I will give Unreal Engine a point. I see Blueprint as a better option. Next will be the viability of tutorials. This point is very important because if you are just getting started, you will need to follow tutorials. To keep it simple, Unity has the biggest amount of tutorials. But after the fees for installation, devs hopped on Godot and started making more tutorials. Unreal Engine will be the worst in this aspect. I once tried to search for tutorials, but it's so hard on you. However, Epic Game has their own website that include tons of tutorials. So maybe the list will be Unity, Unreal, Godot, or Unity, Godot, Unreal. This point goes to Unity. And for assets, all engines have a lot of assets, so it's a draw. Now let's talk about the interesting part, which is the potential of each engine in 2D and 3D games. I mean graphics, of course. While they all support both 2D and 3D games, Unreal wow. Engine got the best graphics. However, not all gamers can run games produced from Unreal Engine, like Remnant 2. It's also not designed to make 2D games, but you still can do it. But I don't recommend that. You will learn a hard tool for an easy like task. purchasing one kilometer of land just to build 10 meter house on the other hand 3d games in unity are optimized and also can produce triple a games similar to unreal and judot is trying to catch up lately and more interesting games showing up watch my other video where i talked about the best 3d game made in Godot. but the engine is mainly for 2d in simple words Godot is the best in 2d games unreal engine is the best in 3d games and unity is the balance between 2d and 3d games With that being said if you don't really care about the graphics then just use Godot in 2d and 3d games as it's beginner friendly and easy to use it's the best option for anyone who is starting game and they want to learn about this field after unity needs <laughs> by following these steps you should now know which engine suits your needs and if you still don't know the potential from Godot, you must watch the best game made with it see you soon